I've traveled to Australia to reveal the identity of an underwater attacker. All signs point to a fish driven to near extinction, Hello but possibly making a comeback, a Murray cod. Copeton Dam is almost 18 square miles of water. That's about the size of Manhattan. As a flooded river valley, it's filled with sunken trees, perfect cover for a big ambush predator. It's a good place to start. This resembles one of the species of fish in here, the bony brim. I'm going to fish with supersized lures, mimicking prey fish and attracting the Murray cod with their vibrations. My subsurface investigation begins. But it's not easy. Any predators will be lying in wait, hidden among the sunken trees and boulders. So I'm trying to get as close as I can without getting caught up. If I'm not getting snagged... Oh, it's off, it's off, it's off. I'm probably in the wrong spot. About a dozen kangaroos all watching me very intently then, so I... I was thinking, do they know something I don't know? Is something about to happen? And they've all just hopped away now, so maybe that was... I read too much into that moment. Yes! Fish on, fish on. Ah, oh, it's caught in a log. It's caught in a log. I wonder if it, it's feeling very strange, feels very strange. I wonder if it's a turtle or something weird. Oh, there it is. It's off, it's off, it's off. I mean, it's off the snag. Still there. It's coming up to the surface. Gonna, it's coming, coming up, it's coming up. There it is. First fish from the lake. Not a Murray cod. This is something called a yellow belly. And I guess one of those would be potentially a meal for a large Murray cod but I think it's good to see some activity. Yellow belly, also known as golden perch, but they only grow to about 30 inches, so it's not on the suspect list. <sighs> right, I am now, me personally, I am switching into night vision mode and I won't see the land, but I'll, I'll hear it. So sense of hearing gets dialed up. It's challenging fishing. Probably going to get snagged up a few times, but that's, that's sort of par for the course. I like night fishing. It, it is like you've entered a different world. I know there are big fish down there, um, but you, this, is, this is the kind of situation when you start wondering, what else might be down there? Do I want to fall in? Yeah, it's a spooky place at night. I fish into the night. Clarkey said the diver's brush with a giant Murray cod here was only a few years back. These fish can live for up to 50 years. Chances are that giant is still around. After a few hours of sleep, I'm back at it. In this part of the lake, I'm really struck by just how low the water level is. Quite a steep bank here, which really gives an idea of how far the water's fallen. I'm guessing we're about 60, 70 feet down on the high water mark. Is this exceptional drop in water causing the Murray cod to change their behavior? The next day, I continue my search. I've already covered so much water without success, but I can't stop. I'm also getting reports that a storm is coming, 
finally some water for this parched land. But the last thing I need is to be caught in a flash flood. I venture deeper into the river system and keep searching. Suddenly, like a switch. Ah, that's a fish. Oh, I missed it, I missed it. My fly barely hits the water before it's attacked. Yes. Oh, right, it's off. Every cast has become a target. Ah. I can't connect. Ah. Off. But I can identify the fish. Ah. Positive ID on Murray Cod. It seems that the impending rain and promise of higher water yes. have brought the beast out of hiding. Oh, f it's off. Now their notorious aggression. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, it's off. And territorial nature. Oh, he's coming after it again. Are in full view. He's going to go after it again. Look at this. He's going to go after it again. And it's taken it again. Oh, off. They do seem to be very aggressive. Get too close to where they live. Boom, they don't like that. Then, in a deep, dark pool. It's following, it's following, it's following, it's following. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. There we go, Murray Cod. And uh, it's a chunky fish. Amazing. That just hammered that surface floor, just, just came up to it and bang, aggression. These fish are all about aggression. It's when they want to feed, but it's also when you get in their face, when you get too close to where they live. They're just out and they're at you. Judging by its size, this one has been stalking these waters for the best part of a decade. A big one of these, I think, easily might have accounted for that story. I can look at this all day, but being a fish, I don't want it too long out of the water. I've got all sorts of things all around the world. This is one that I never thought I would see on the end of my line, and here it is. 